Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today as I talk to this guy over here, who, uh, who is, is interesting. He's interesting, I was messing around with what we saw last episode. Let's, um, let's talk to him. I, uh, oh, what an obnoxious scum you are. What now? Nothing much, just want to ask you a couple of questions. And the fighter smirks and sniffs. You want to get to know me better, don't you? You aren't gonna try to talk me into marrying you. <laughs> you should have been born a gal, and a good-looking one at that. And while you're at it, you should also have been born with a huge pile of money next to you. And also, the previous world, not that you're wishing things. You're lucky that there's nothing to do around here. Go ahead, but remember, most of what the ordinary folk will gladly tell you is a military secret to me. Most of what ordinary folk will tell me, gladly, to him, it's military secret. Sure, who are you? A wolf among a pack of cubs on a leash held by a fat, fat cat. Can you elaborate? The giant gestures that his workmates gathered in the little outpost. Here's the cub pack. The fat cat, however, or to be more precise, a wool clouder of cats, that's a word, are in Paragon. I think I've done a good job explaining. Yep, so what are you doing here? Waiting for a time when I want to be able to look at myself in the mirror without disgust. That's why I chose this profession. Oh, I thought he was... <laughs> As I was reading that in my head, it was registering the exact opposite. I, I thought he was waiting for a time when he wouldn't be able to look at a mirror without disgust. But no, no, no. He disgusts himself and is trying to clean himself by doing, I assume, guard work. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, what can you tell me about this place? The post at a post-apocalyptic border outpost. As many posts in the same sentence. Cooler uniforms, larger and more serious guns, but the way of thinking is the same as in the old union. Bribes, smuggling, Nepotism. Is that how it's written? I didn't know. Pointless backstabbing. Well, it ain't just that. In, it ain't that just. Well, ain't that just sad, says my character. Um. Have you heard any good rumors? I've heard that there is some foreign blockhead who thinks I'm some kind of gossiping broad that is interested in the rumors. When I find out that. Uh, who that is, I'll rip their head off and stick a cabbage head on their neck instead. Uh, yeah, and I can attack him. <laughs> Unless I tear his yard first! And then we just attack. I, I, I see where we're going with it. Uh, okay. Well, I need him... I need him to join me, I think. So... Let's look at this. To fend off the slaver attack on Otradnoi, I need to team up with some Major Pronin who's uh, currently stationed in the Borderland Fortress. They keep changing the name, but it's fine. We can we can figure it out. Uh, and the Major... Oh, I didn't take that. Oh, right, because... Oh, I forgot about that. I shouldn't have forgotten about that. That's a terrible thing for me to have forgotten about. Okay, also... This is probably Major Pronin, then. An empty bottle. Okay. Let's not forget about this one, then. That doesn't open. I don't understand. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Uh, that doesn't that doesn't open. It's just, it just doesn't open. I don't understand. And this guy showed up uh, halfway through and be like, oh, you I don't I don't actually know what he said. Um, yeah, I am not certain about that. But uh, we can come back later. Eventually, let's rest until. That's until they comes. And then we have somebody over there. Somebody who doesn't seem to be very... Uh, oh, I'm also sort of starving. Oh, Fidel healed. Nice. Uh, can I eat? Are you the general here or whatever? A happy-looking, pot-bellied man is hunching over an... an an impromptu barbecue. He is keeping an eye on the suspicious looking meat that's cooking on the grill and whistling a song. Having noticed you, the cook waves at you. He has a friendly look on his face. Yeah, he's the cook. He's not dressed like a general, so I figured. Well, well. Hello there, traveler. 
Looking to do some shopping. Uh, sure. Discounts? He, he n never. Never. Oh, I looked at that already. So, can you ask us, ask us, answer some questions? A couple of questions? Fine. I think I can spare a few minutes. Go ahead. So, how'd you end up uh, with this soldiery? Before this, I've worked, uh, I had worked at an inn in Paragon, but then there was a little, tiny little conflict of interests, and I had quit. As soon as I got my lay-off pay, I turned to some buddies who work over here, and here I am. Oh, uh, okay, what was, what was the conflict of interests about? The man jokingly waggles his finger at you. Curiosity killed a cat. There's no, nothing to tell, really. What can't be cured must be endured. I didn't know that was a saying. Can I try that again? I can't. Hmm. Uh, let's see if I... No, I can't. Okay. Interesting. That's... I have a lot of personality. No, actually, that's personality, so... I, I need speechcraft. So that's a... That's a stat check rather than a skill check. So what can you tell me about this lovely outpost? Well, hell knows. There isn't much to tell. This fortress of the... Border, the Fortress of the Border Guards was built long before we got here by some other warriors. However, it seems that it didn't help them much because nobody has heard anything about them. Mm-hmm. Right. So what do you do for fun around here? The place is quite remote. Yeah, there isn't much to do around here. However, where there's a will, there's always something to do, so to speak. And a way to entertain our others as well. Plus, once or twice a month, a man from Paragon visits us here, brings some girls along to, for us. Haha! -ha. If that's something you're interested in, then when you go to Paragon, go to the local inn and ask for Aurum. The cook winks at you. Right. Uh, so... What have the people of the Wasteland been talking about lately? In other words, rumors. I've heard that the war on drugs is at full swing in Krasnozna many, and it won't stop until the streets are completely freed of narcotics. Or, to put it in other words, the drug prices have skyrocketed. Yeah, indeed. So... Do you have more? A lot of travelers say that somewhere around here in the woods lives an old man who gives himself out to be a wizard. He even picked a respectable name for himself, The Minister. That, that's, sure, that's a nickname, I suppose. It's not very necessarily respectable. I have a, because it's a nickname, I have a lurking suspicion, uh, suspicion that the old man is a big fan of the bottle. How else would he come up with a story like this? Like that, you mean. I gotta run, you're gonna tell this instead of that, then I'm gonna be upset. Uh, so, I need to find this Pronin dude. Who the heck? Who is he? That's not you. Oh, did I not talk to you? I don't remember his beard. I obviously didn't talk to him. Uh, do you like my uh, c c this? No, well, he doesn't. He doesn't mind that too much. I am. I am starving though, so that that is a bit of a problem. So I'll need to fix that immediately. So let, give me all of your money. Not all of it, but some. You see a bearded soldier in a helmet and an old Soviet army shirt called. The shirt is called Gimnasterka. He swings on his toes, like a dancer, his thumbs stuck behind his wide leather belt. He winks as he sees you. Hiya, he says. Uh, oh, this is Beard. Right, I'm just passing by. I'll see you later, because uh, I will need to eat. And I can't eat in here, so I'll have to uh, to go outside. It's fine. It's I like privacy when I eat. And also, it doesn't... I wonder if I can stop in the middle of the waste. Oh, I, can, I don't need to. I'm outside. Oh, immediately. Outside of the, the place. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, roast some meat. And leave. Yep. Sounds good to me. Is that radioactive? Nope. Not radioactive. They took the wheel. Did you see? They had taken the wheel. Okay. Enter. And we're back over here. And let's see what I can do with Beard. Who is uh, apparently either responsible for for uh, slavers or for slavering, Sla slaving? I don't know. Uh, or he's he knows where they are. So let's see what he has to say. Um, could you answer some questions? You can ask, and I'll decide whether to answer. He says, "Tell me about yourself." I forgot his voice, by the way. No, I'm sorry, I, but I won't. I don't have a habit of talking about myself to strangers. So he, talk, he talks about other people. Good. Have you heard any rumors? Oh, wait. That, that's what do people talk about. Right, right, right. People say that there are human traffickers in other parts of the wastes. In other parts of the wastes. 
Hmm. I'm so glad we don't have many of them here. Yeah, because it's competition. I have nothing but utter contempt for slavery and everything connected to it, he says. Hmm. Hmm. Are these lands dangerous? Extremely dangerous, but thanks to us, every day they're getting safer for ordinary people. Yes, there are many places where I wouldn't recommend a civilian to go, but this fortress is not one of them. Hmm. Right. So if it's not a secret, yay! What are you doing here? Hey, this is no s that. That is no secret at all. We're guarding the northern border of the civilized part of the wasteland. Paragon merchants have hired us. We guard trade routes day and night. Constant vigilance. Uh, I keep saying that it's all very commendable of him, but he still won't talk about himself, even though he just did. Um, hey, listen, your nickname is Beard, by any chance, is it? Wow, did you guess? He, the soldier smiles and st strokes his bushy beard. How obvious are nicknames in general? Like, it's the beard. That's not even beard. It's the beard. And that guy would be the blonde. That guy over there would be the bang. Uh, it's just like, that's not how nicknames work. You don't say the first thing that comes to your head. Unless you do, and I don't know. Anyway. Uh, and also, it would be the meets your eyes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's right. Pavel Beardov. Or simply Beard. Is that... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. He b was born with a name that means... That resembles the word beard, which is an English word? Or did that get translated? It, do, or can you just make up surnames? Or is there a, a real surname that means sort of beard in Russia? And they translated it for clarity? I, what? Um, so, oof, that typo over there. Uh, are you by any chance the same beard who is assisting in human trafficking in the wasteland? I'm gonna ask, because I need the, some human traffickers for sure. Not at all because I want to kill you. The soldier's face twists nervously. Hmm, not in disgust. Interesting. And he takes a few steps back. Y human trafficking? No. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know what you mean. Um, calm down. I'm interested in the job myself. Job? What job? Are you... What are you talking about? Do you know what I... That I come from a family of abolitionists? And to assume that I'm involved in the ungodly, disgusting thing... Human trafficking? This is rid... That... That is ridiculous! Hmm... I can't breathe! Such an absurd assumption. The bearded soldier grasps at his chest, starts panting, making sure he doesn't escape your notice. Inside... The inside of my character. Which... Because this is... This is obvious. He's pretending to be upset and pants in a way that I would know that he's panting. From time to time, this, he does this for a long time, and from time to time he casts a furtive glance at you to see what impression his act has caused in a, in a way that, to make sure I don't notice, but I do notice because I notice everything. Um, uh, let's see. Hmm. Interesting line over here. Well done, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go with it. If the USSR still exists, they should have rewarded you as an outstanding actor. But the USSR is dead. And gone. And this is not a movie. Hmm. Okay. Let's assume, assume that everyone here is mixed up in some... Everyone! Holy crap. Mixed up in some shady affair. Maybe even me. I wonder, though, what it means that you're interested in the job. Did I say interested in the job? I, I think I said interested in a job. No, I did. I did say interesting in the, interested in the job. Hmm. Well, what do you think it means? I want to work in your organization. The soldier tenses up and presses a finger to his lips. Sure. There's no need to speak about it so loudly. Okay, so I might have some connections in the relevant circles. The relevant circles. Perhaps I could pull some strings so that they accept you for the job, if you know that much already. How about this? <laughs> anyway, how about this? I will contact some people and these people who I whom I barely know will decide whether to give you some job or to ignore you. I'll arrange a meeting, let's say, in the place called Rest Stop 10. Will that work for you? I'm gonna frown doubtfully in a way to make sure that he notices that I'm being doubtful and thinks I'm being doubtful, even though I'm not. 
someone might think, sorry, m might have thought that you're just trying to lure hmm, other people, I would say, might think that, uh, might, hmm, other people would think that you're luring me into a trap, I think is the best way of phrasing that. Hey, hey, I, it wasn't me who came to you asking for work. It's up to you whether to go there or not. But if you're really interested in the job, please be so kind as to trust me. Let me mark th that this place in your map. You're full of doubt. The narrator forces me to be full of doubt as you hand o the map over. No, not. Shut up. There it is. Remember the place is called Rest Stop 10. Got it? Great. I'm sure my comrades will find a job for you. Okay. Well, the beard. No. Wait, what? So I'm gonna fend off the slaver attack on Otra Noi. Hmm, this is quite interesting. So I would imagine I can't kill him before I go to that place in rest stop, st uh, rest stop 10. Right. Let's go that. Then, yeah, let's, let's try that. I hope he's still gonna be there when I come back. Now, where would rest stop 10 be? Uh, right click. Right. Right there. It's not that far away. I can do this. Let's go that way. Yay! I'm not going to the bunker, by the way. I'm just, uh, we're just traveling. Because we have, I think we have plenty of food. Yeah, we have. Should be okay. I hope we have plenty of food. <laughs> I have some apples, but that's not gonna be enough. Ooh, scavengers. Nice. Oh, I might need to kill some hunters. Some hunters? Some, some monsters. Uh, to hunt some, some monsters to get the food. I'm trying to uh, see if there's anything over here. Scavenger, sir! No, that's not it. That's not it. How do I know which one is the leader? Uh, Ooh, a, sh a savage seal shield. Okay, well, that's uh, that, really. It's a shame. Bye. Moving on, then. I hope this is not going to result in my death, this journey back down south to Krasnoza many cuz yeah we've now we've been before to uh to that place to rest stop 10 you stumbled upon a strange uh, symbiosis of rats and mutants and i've tried to escape but i can't however this is a good opportunity for me to hunt oh yeah this is a fantastic opportunity for me to hunt now you need to die oof okay I was gonna start complaining if you hadn't died. That was 92 damage, though. That was a kill. Fantastic. Mm hmm. Okay, you go down. Lovely. Okay. That worked pretty well. I don't like wasting ammo, but. Yeah, well, we didn't miss anything. We just. Didn't necessarily use up the ammo in the best way possible. We didn't take any damage either, so I suppose that's good. Let's save the game there, so I have a little bit more food for me. And uh, we can eat if we want to, which I don't. Let's go inside. This is a nice, nice place. If it has things in here, and it does. Might even have a Lashy, which apparently is a... It's not the name of the the monster. It, I mean, it is a... Oh, I'm getting poisoned. That's bad. Game auto-saved, though. I mean, I imagine I'm getting poisoned. Is that an alien? Well, let's get out. We're going to be able to drink water, though, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's a nasty place. It doesn't say that I'm taking poison damage. Is that me? That is me. Uh, Yeah, it doesn't look like I am. Good stuff. Let's see. Over here. Do we have anything? Yes, we do. We have a box. Are we going to be able to uh, not be an idiot? Is that all that I need to? Is just not step on the green goo? It's not really goo. It's just smoke. That's locked. Okay. I don't need the brick, but I did get a 9mm, so we're good. Let's get out. Come on, everyone. Let's do this. 9mm round, I mean. Not a pistol. 
I know when you say a nine millimeter, you you just you're referring to a pistol, or generally to a pistol because nine millimeter tends to be pistol ammo. Okay. As for the brick, I think I'm carrying one around. Oh, three around. Yeah, Fidel can carry it. Lenin, sorry. Okay, not too shabby. How's my food situation? That's good enough. It's good enough. How much? How's my how's my ammo situation? More to the point. Thirty. That's pretty good. Not to mention the armor piercing that I have, the armor piercing rounds that I have. Okay, moving on. Yeah, you can't go. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to bunker three one seven because uh, I want to wait. That is, uh, I remember I went there in the in the alpha version. Oh no, we're gonna have to murder people. Oh yes, we're gonna have to murder people. Um, what are they calling about? Calling about the smell? What's the smell? Smell old meat? Couldn't be saying something. Um, ooh, okay, so this guy. Mm, so I need to kill him. I need to kill him because these guys are going to have lower to hit chances. That was a hit. That guy is special. That was a miss. That was fantastic. That's what that was. And the bandit was killed by Lennon with the crappy, crappy ammo. Okay, I'm going to stay here. Nice. And now I'm going to have a lot, a very good chance to hit because um, he has a pistol. 31 damage. Fantastic. This is what I'm talking about. Ammo is a big problem, but holy crap. We're getting all this stuff. Good, good stuff. Oh my god. Zip rounds for Fidel. We have a more zip rounds over there. Yeah. Holy crap! It's fantastic. This is why. That's why these these guys are so good to find. I mean, we need to. We do need to kill them. But what is that? A ski hat? Sure. And we got a rifle. Okay. I don't need the bottle or a broken bottle. Yeah go with that. I can still carry that. Is there anybody else? There's only three of them? Was there only three of them? There were only three of them. Yeah. In my head, I thought there were more. But that was pretty good. Okay. Now, hopefully we won't find too many of them, though, because we're already a little bit over-encumbered. Or not over-encumbered, but, uh, yeah, over-encumbered. The thing is, I... We'll need absolutely to go back to Krasnos, not many. We need to check that thing out. And this is going to be something, for sure. We will need to go back to Krasnos, not many, because we... Uh... Oh, man. Just these guys again. Because... Um... Oh, we need to sell the things that we have. Okay, there's somebody over there, somebody over there. There's two pistols. There's three pistols. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, that's Lenin. That's me. Which means I should shoot that guy over there. For 33 damage, and I move. That's the wrong guy. Missed. And 9 damage. That's a miss. And 6 damage. So those are not uh, crappy pistols. They might be... Well, they might be crappy pistols. The point is they are not uh, self-made. Hi! Come on. That is a lot of damage that I'm doing. That's the wrong guy. That was a critical damage, though. That's Yeah, so those are crappy pistols. Because he jammed. Normal pistols don't jam. I'll take the damage, especially if you miss. That guy just died. So both of them are almost dead. I don't have... Uh, can't shoot both of them. Well, that's not a problem, because that guy's dead. Okay. Nice. Okay. Ugh, come on. Uh, we should be fine. 25 and a kill. And a level up, which is amazing. I really, really need this level up. 
Oh, and all the good things. Okay, so you can have that. What is that? For stealth? Sure. Can I unload? Yes, I can. I have 9mm. What were you doing with 9mm, my dude? You shouldn't have 9mm. Uh, there's some things in here. Yeah, I... Well, this was fantastic. This was fantastic. Okay, we got... Yeah, it's these ones. I figured that's what they had. Uh, I'll take everything. I can still walk, which is great. Oh, look at that, a log. I can make another rifle if I want to. More 9mm. Do these... Oh, because these use 9mm. No, they don't. I don't understand. Okay, I'll take that. Not the log, though. Although I might be... Oh, I'm over-encumbered. Okay, let's look at what you're doing here. So you have... Uh, 762. I don't think I have any of that for right now. So let's sort this by armor. I can give you all of these... And you just carry armor for me, and I'll remember that you have that. Sounds good. And you can carry uh, weapons as well. Are these sharpened? They're not sharpened. So I need to sharp them. Sharp them? That's absolutely how you say that. Um, okay. So let's do that. Crafting. Sharpen knife. Chance, hi. I don't like high. I like perfect. Uh, sharpen knife. Because there might be a chance that I lose the sharpening stone. And that thing is expensive. I'd rather not. And there's cheese. Oh, yes, there's cheese. Where there's cheese... Well, life is good, really. Also, there's some coffee and stuff like that. Cheese and coffee. Eh. I mean, I, yeah, I'll take both. Not at, Maybe not at the same time. Okay. So, that was good. That was good. Uh, but what I want, specifically with the uh, specifically with the little... With the log, is I want to make... So, we got a custom rifle over here. Can I make a rifle? I think I can. I saw... I remember seeing a log somewhere. So, that is... For, oh, what is that? Spiked glove? All right. Uh, so, um... So, that, yeah, it's for a zip gun. Okay, let's get it. I think we can make a zip gun. Yeah. Fidel, give me those things. All of those things. Zip gun. Medium chance. Fail. Lost scrap. Fail. Wires. I don't know that that's worthwhile. I lost a lot of wires there. I can make a... Yeah, I don't... Quality zip gun. Success. I don't have some items. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, scrap. Right. Oh, that's me. Okay. Fail. Yeah, that... That, reco mm, that was a bad move. Let's try that again. <laughs> No move for me then. I, I can I can instead of using the wires, I can use the um, the ropes that I have over here. Although we, m I wonder if we might be able to to make wires out of ropes. No, I don't have anything here called wire, as far as I can tell, anyway. So let's save there, and uh, save scum. So zip gun first, fail. Oh, lost the log? Holy crap, that is terrible. No. Uh, I got lucky before a lot. There it is. And uses the rope. Fantastic. I wonder if I can make another one. No, because I don't have another log. Good. However, I do have more of these, which means I should be able to... And that, that was actually part of the reason why... Uh, or the major part of the reason why I reloaded after losing all that. Because... It's a shotgun. Oh, wait. What? No, I don't need that. You can have that one. Uh, but having the uh, having more of these, that means I can make uh, higher quality ones. Because I have all the materials. Uh, for some of them. Not for all the scrap, though. Uh, but I will do that. Let's see. Quality zip gun. Chance is low. Let's use our level ups. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Let's see. So I have six. And I co it costs five. An experienced warrior can tell a lot about his enemies by just looking at him. That's pretty good. And I'll go with that. 
So that's my abilities for that for right now. Uh, and then what I mean by by oh, the problem is I oh, I want technology. I want to bring this up, but I also need this to see what's inside the because I might not want to open it. The lock picking thing. I need to bring this up. So I'm gonna save the action points. I'm gonna see what I can do here with, uh, and I'm just gonna see what I lose with the quality zip gun over here. Let's fail. Made two. I lost one. Sounds good to me. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, although I, yeah, that thing is heavy. You can keep it, Fidel. Yeah, you're good with that, aren't you? Hopefully you are. So you keep that. We have zip round shots. And uh, Hydrogen over here. I'm never going to remember his name. Uh, yeah, everything is fine. And we are going to continue next episode, though. For right now, I'm Curl RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.